Okay, so welcome to our first module, which is basically on the library and how to use libraries. What do we have? A library catalog, use of electronic resources, doctoral theses, and then especially reliability of sources. That'll take you from this class, this beginning, through to the 11th of October when you have to hand in your dossier. All the work is online on Moodle. If you're stuck, contact me. Write me an email first. If you're really stuck, we'll organize a Skype session for you. That's not a problem. But I think this one you should do fairly well and perhaps discover a few things. I want to add a personal introduction about libraries, since I spent a lot of my life in them, basically doing uh, my doctoral research and then postdoc research in some of the great libraries in the world. So this is a very brief homage to what libraries are, and then an explanation of how they've moved on into the electronic age. Uh, classically, there are two kinds of libraries. There's the open stack and closed stack. OpenStack is where you walk in, you can find all the books, you find what you want, and it's really good because you can browse around and say, it's not for me, not for me, not for me, and discover stuff as well. You know, you're looking for a particular book by an author and it's there, but you look around on the shelf and you see what's right and what's left of it, and you'll discover books that are quite interesting. And, and uh, in my own research, some of the great discoveries have happened like that, things I hadn't expected at all, and just turned up. Um, my, my own doctoral research was actually on the late 19th century in, um, in literature, in, in Spanish and French and English. So I did research, let's see, in some of the great closed stack libraries of the world, uh, the Bibliothèque Nationale in, in Paris, uh, Bibliothèque Nacional in Madrid, um, some of it in, in, the, uh, in the British Library, especially in later research I did on translations of Don Quixote. Uh, people there were wonderful. You know, I could find all these very rare translations, and it was brought to me very quickly, and the service has been really great. And, uh, and all of those are wonderful buildings as well to be in and work in. It's, it's quite austere and uh, um, uplifting in a way. You feel you're entering the, the realm of knowledge. Other libraries are then OpenStack. Uh, one of them, the one, the place I actually wrote my doctoral thesis was in the, the Widener Library at Harvard University, where I had a carol. I had a desk inside the library, next to the most wonderful store of, of, of bibliographical resources, uh, particularly for the period I was interested in. And so I was living in, I was writing my thesis with the books. Uh, all around me. French literature up there, Spanish literature down there, English literature over there. Uh, and that was a wonderful experience. There's something sacred about that experience. When I walk into libraries such as the one at our university, and I find people going there to have a chat, and talking away, and disturbing anybody who went there to read a book or to discover some knowledge, I'm sorry, but I get very, very annoyed. Uh, the creation and dissemination and passing on of knowledge and the storing of it uh, is a very noble activity dating back to the Middle Ages. Please have some respect for it. Libraries have gone electronic. Some of them have gone very electronic. The, the Bibliothèque Nationale, which was one of the worst I ever worked in, uh, the one in Paris, in terms of wait time to get documents, now has a, a great deal of its documents, some, some, something quite rare, uh, actually available free online. The old books are being scanned, that way they're protected because people don't pick them up. Um, the one in Göttingen that I worked in as a postdoc in, in Germany uh, has also been going through and getting a lot of its material Scan. That's an interesting example as well, because there, uh, all the books, all the stores, that's, that's mostly closed stack, it's, and it's actually underground. The books are put underground. 
And why is interesting. Uh, during the Second World War, there was a kind of pact between the Allies and, 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 and the Nazis in, in Germany. The Nazis never bombed Oxford and Cambridge. Knowledge is sacred. The bombs could reach London, uh, but not Oxford or Cambridge. And in return, uh, the Allies never bombed Göttingen and Heidelberg. That is, the places where the great universities are and the libraries are. Still, the Germans don't really trust anyone, so they put the good books right underneath down. So if the bombs fall, the books will stay there uh, underneath. Okay. These days, I don't have any books. This is actually my office in Monterey, and there are no books in it. Uh, I don't need them anymore. Actually, I do need some. Uh, but, you know, that, that's very exceptional. Most of it I can find online in ebooks, uh, e-resources, online journals especially, or, or I have made copies of them and I have them uh, on my own computer. If I'm going to work on something, I'll do that. I have a lot of nostalgia for the paper-based libraries. But paper burns with time. If you look at an old book, 100 years old, the journals I was going through were more than 100 years old, the paper with the acid in it becomes tender and brittle and breaks. You're going to lose knowledge. Electronic resources will last longer. We don't know how long, but they will last at least longer than the paper-based resources. And the big advantage is that for me as a researcher, if I have an electronic resource, that is not a PDF, not image-based, I can do a search for what I want. I can use keywords and find the piece of information I want. Uh, and if I've got a good PDF, I can cut and paste from that. If I want the exact citation, I can take it out. Uh, for those two reasons, I really do prefer working on electronic resources. And uh, although I have all that nostalgia for the bygone age of closed stack, open stack, uh, waiting for books, traveling, admiring the buildings, that I've been in. For actual research, uh, most of us have moved into the electronic age. So the most important lessons you're going to get here is, well, find things in the physical library, but more importantly, I think, know how to locate reliable electronic books and journals, and know how to use them then for the citation and for the actual writing up of the research you're going to do. With that, good luck.